Day two, living on one euro a day in Berlin. For breakfast, I'm gonna hold on to my euro and try to make some money through recycling. Now in Germany, there's a bottle recycle system where you can get money in return for the bottles. So we just need to walk around, find some bottles, recycle them, get some money, and get breakfast. Best place to go is the hostel I'm staying in. I've seen quite a few bottles around the past few days I've been there, so I'm just gonna ask them if I can recycle the bottles for them. I couldn't have your bottles, could I? This is what I'm going to be surviving on today. Alright, I've collected quite a few bottles. I don't know how much it translates to, but it should do for breakfast. I can walk around see if I can find some more, but I don't want to be... I don't want to be a nuisance in this hostel. <laughs> can I recycle that bottle? Sure. Take it. Thank you. There's another one? Yes, please. Thank you. Now we just need to walk around the city and find somewhere to actually recycle this, turn it into cash, and then get breakfast. Eureka, we found it. So now I just need to go through all of these and see how much we've got. What? Oh. So, so far we have two pound 80, two euros 80. I mean, it was a lot of bottles and all you get is two euros 80, but it's decent. It's more than one pound or one euro, so happy days. Now we're gonna go cash this in and then get breakfast. Let's go. Hello. Thank you. Okay, now seeing we have a bit of money to play with, I'm thinking cereal and something. So I found soya milk for 99 cents. I've got one euro 80 to find either um, the actual cereal and maybe like a pastry of some sort. Then I can have breakfast, happy days. All right, so the cheapest cereal I could find here was one euro 39 for cornflakes. Now, I want to look in another shop to see if I can find anything cheaper. If not, then complex it is. Hello. Hello. Thank you. Yeah. Well, I've just left the shopping center, walked around for a bit, had a look around, and the complex is probably my best bet. Hello. Nice. Are these free samples? On it. Is it cheese? Yeah. Cheese? Yeah. Ah. That's the cheese. I can't have cheese. That's it, Is it vegan? That one's vegan? It looks very interesting. So I managed to find some free sample. Um, she put something interesting on it. Mm. Mm -hmm -hmm. Mm. It looks good. It actually tastes pretty good. The choice I make right now will determine the next few days. I can either go for oats, which last a few days, with milk, or this massive box of cereal. I think this is the best bet, isn't it? Thank you. Thank you, thanks. Is there anything I can get for 40 cents? You can get for 40 cents. You want apple? You can give me an apple. I would like something I can have with cereal. Oh yeah? Yeah. One more? Okay, we're back at the hostel, and this is what our money could get us. Now I'm just gonna um, get a bowl, have breakfast, and then head out and keep exploring. Hi. Um, I couldn't grab a bowl, could I? A uh, what? A bowl? Yes. Bowl and spoon? Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Mmm, this is delicious. I like my cornflakes swimming in the milk. Mm, mm. All right, lunch. Now I've still got my one euro, so I want to walk around and see what I can find. Preferably something light. I don't think you get anything heavy for one euro anyways. That breakfast has honestly filled me up. And I've got fruits. I was wondering if you have anything for one euro. No, no, no. No food, food for one euro. No English, German. Oh, no. All right, so I had a look in the shop. The only thing they have for close to one euro is the Turkish pizza 
for one euro fifty. Breaking news: Turkish pizza has meat in it, so it turns out I can't have it anyways. Um, you don't happen to have anything for one euro, do you? What? What? Do you have anything for one euro? I don't understand. Do you have anything for one euro? A croissant. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Have a good one. I guess we're having croissant for lunch. All right. So I'm going down into the um, subway. I've just remembered those people yesterday from the Diwali festival told me to come back today, and they've got free food. So happy days. I'm gonna head over there and grab some lounge and also learn about the um, Hindu religion. We have a uh, croissant. I don't know if this necessarily classes as lunch, but this is all we got, man. Hello. How's it going? You again. So nice to see you. It's nice to see you guys too. Uh, how are you? All right, we're back. Um, going to find a seat and then we'll carry on with the festivities. just left the Krishna temple and I think now I understand why my mom doesn't like me wandering to these different types of religions and doctrines because it's a whole completely different belief system anyways I left before the meals were being served so yeah all right it's getting late I found something interesting on meetup it goes offline dating in the mall and I thought why not? <laughs> he goes, we meet up every Wednesday to practice our real world social and dating skills. This meetup is not just about meeting the other attendants, but also going out together and meeting completely new people, talking to strangers in the real world. is something 99% of society would never consider. It sounds like a fun, I don't know, event. So let's go check it out. I'm so sorry guys. Hey, what's up? How are you doing? End of the story. I'm good, thanks. Join in. So long. I'm not sure if I'm in the right place. This is the meetup group. Awesome. Yeah? Yes, the sir. Social... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Hey, nice to meet you guys. Yeah, you look right here. I'm pretty excited to start. Then it's even. Yeah. And so now, we'll just act as if we were people who are just standing <laughs> around here. And we don't know these guys and we don't know each other. Okay, we're just standing here like all these other people and those guys here, they are people who are now approaching us. Okay, so currently we're on an exercise where we've split the group into two and then half of the group are going to go and speak to the other half and then they have to get rejected. So someone comes up to me and I just straight up reject them and then it helps them deal with rejection, I guess. Excuse me, I was wondering if... Sorry, you guys I don't have time. I'm sorry. Okay, so now rolls are switched and I need to go up to people and try and get their attention and I get part. Um, I've done sales for five years, so this is like, rejection is futile. <laughs> oh, excuse me, mate. Uh, uh, I was just wondering where you got your jacket from. <laughs> Our instructor is um, showing us how it goes and he's speaking to some ladies. Okay, so we've got like a mini group and then we need to walk around and speak to some women, right? Yeah. How do you guys feel about it? <laughs> Shall we? Very good. Very good. <laughs> no, of course. Alright, so it's come to an end. We've finished all the group exercises. We've learned a little bit about rejection. We've gone up and talked to some random strangers. We've learned about openings and like closings and like other random bits. Random things you can do in random countries you visit. Alrighty, so I'm back at the hostel. I guess it's fruit for dinner today. Not ideal, but hey, what can you do? All right, it's been an interesting day today. I didn't manage to have three full course meals, but this is what you get when you're living on one pound a day. Like this video, give a big thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification, share with all your friends and family. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.